Right, here we are in the graveyard, and part of my um, theory about people dying old, so this one, we have someone, his wife born the same year, died 1851, a wee bit earlier, and then their sons, who all died much younger, in their 30s, but in different places like Quebec, Liverpool, so, well travelled. Then we move on to this one. So we have um, I can't I can't make out the, the name. It's it's kind of eroded away. Something James um, died eighteen twenty one, age seventy three, and his son sixty five. So, and, and then another son James who died in infancy. His oldest son, Hugh, who died aged 30, I think, 30. And his daughter, who died in 1836, aged 25. So, quite a mix there. Quite a mix. And this is, this is quite an old graveyard, so we'd, we should be able to pick up. Uh, there's someone, 1878, who died at 66. And then we have... Robert Montgomery, who died 19th December 1849, aged 62. And Mary Todd, his spouse, aged 67. And then their children. Their children died very young, 33, 34, 36. Oh no, and then Mary Montgomery, who died aged 88. And then... So more 81 and one at 64. So living to good ages, some of them, but other ones dying very young. Uh, Robert Montgomery Harper, editor and publisher of The Gleaner, the first newspaper printed in Johnston. There you go. Died November 1886 in his 68th year. His wife, aged 41. And the family in third, Jane McDougall, died in Stolcoats, aged uh, in the 15th of January 1904. Doesn't give us an age for her. Some of them are pretty hard to read, that one's really unreadable. I can't make it out at all. Yeah. The remains of John Ken Kenway, who departed this life. January the 18th, 1812, aged 26. A stone erected by a society of which he was also a valuable member. A valuable and worthy member. And then we have a little poem. Hmm. No name of this society. Strange. The memory of John Pinkerton. Late Mason in Johnston, who died in oh, 1807, aged 50. And the rest of the stones sunk into the ground. Can't really read that one. Uh, I'm not quite picking up this one prop. I don't know if I'm getting it right, but it might be aged 11. Or oh, their children, 1804, aged 11. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe. Difficult to make out that one as well. Here's a here's one that's born the test of time well, 1874, 77th year of age. And his wife, 1867, born eh, died 67 year of age. I realize there were so many on the walls. You don't really notice them until you're actively looking. Uh, this is the Burial place of James Hunter, the son, who died in January 1708, aged 15. Either 15 or... Yeah, it's 15. And this one, no, no ages on it. Just a marker for the plot number. Number 16. Difficult to pick this one up. Very tricky. Very hard. I think that one that said... 15 was actually, that was the plot number 15 and not the age. These are just markers for the burials. 
So what have we got on the floor on the ground here? Erected by Margaret Simpson in memory of Alexander Stewart, who departed life December 1809, aged 79. And another kicked over stone by the council, erected by William Marler in memory of his mother, who died in Eldersley, uh, 1849, 1856 and 1862. No ages given. Another fallen stone that's completely unreadable now. Here we have some more on the wall. Uh, can't decipher that one. As, as I've said, these are, some of these are pretty old. Oh, that one's tricky as well. Uh, somebody at the bottom is aged 52, aged 86. Yeah. Tricky to pick them out. 40. Oh, no, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that one is. Some more up here. Let's see what we've got. Aged 46, the Reverend William Gaff. Called early to see the boy. No age is given. There we are, age 62, 31, 70, 43 and 66. So what I'm really looking for is to see how old people were when they died because my theory is that they're either very old or very young. Um, this one, we've got a 33, 26, 68 and a 43. I've not had a lot of um, middle-aged people, you know, no, not many in the 40s and 50s. It's mainly been either 60s, 70s, 80s, or well, they've been in their 20s. There's one there, 79, age 70, 79, and, and the one above was 57. So, has a stone been toppled? Uh, and this is part of the council's policy now. If a stone looks at all dodgy, they will just topple it. Uh, certain degree of a lack of respect for the departed and their memory indeed but you know it's for the greater good it's for your safety because it might fall on you you know what have we come to in this world today no ages given there there's some big ones up here hey Age 36, Janet, what, one, one year, four years, ten months. Nathan, two years, five months. Nathaniel, 24. And Nathaniel Allen, who died age 97. See, the, it does appear to be in the old days, in the 17, 18, 19, well, 1800s, you were... If you made it past 30, there was a good chance you were going to push through to a good old age. If you didn't make it past 30, um, it wasn't looking good for you. Yeah, there's a few here. Uh, 16, 8 months. 1 year, 8 months. 3 years, uh, 5 months. 2 years. That's, that's hard. That's a hard life, that one, isn't it? You know? Uh, and the the main chap, the father, where lots of things died at the age of 41. Yeah. No mention of the wife. Maybe she was buried elsewhere. That's tough, though, with all those kids dying at such early ages. Robert Will, no ages given. That's a, an obelisk. Erected by Elizabeth McDowell. Memory of her husband, John McDowell, engineer, Buckingham Foundry, Johnston, who died on May the 14th, 1857, aged 61, and 62 for herself. For her son, uh, oh, I'm not really getting any, age 21? Yeah, 21. More toppled stones. Christina Bowie, engineer, Hercules Ironworks, Johnston, 1902, age 74, age 83. Yep. 
I'll go over to the wall. I hope you can hear me over this wind. It's quite noisy. I will put some noise removal on it and see how it goes. Archibald Gilchrist, 1828, died 1849. No, their eldest son died 1928. Uh, no ages, no ages given. I think so far, generally, the theory seems to hold up that, you know, it, if you, if you made it past your 25, say, there was a good chance. William Buchanan, his son Willa, I'm sorry, age seven months, and his son John, age three and a half months, and himself at 88, and his wife at 61. Yeah, infant death was obviously a... That was a big, um, a big thing in bringing down the life expectancy rate. James Robertson, surgeon and coal master, died 1884, age 75. His wife, aged 83. Her son, aged 21. And their other son, aged 34. Seems to be there's a lot of people dying in the late 80s. 1880s, that is. Regardless of age. Yeah, there's another one. Um, Alex Robertson died aged 16 months. James Robertson and their children. Yeah. No ages for them. Oh. That's lovely. Somebody allowing their dog to defecate on the... The graveyard, age 35, age 80. No ages there. But wild today. Uh, well, we've got an age there. Born 54, died 67. Born 84, 1841, died 1844. That's three. Yeah. And... They themselves were 63. Mary was 63 when she died. Uh, quite hard to read that. We've got a 67 and a 54, a 78, a 57, 26, and a 12. No, that's 12 for me. Two months. Eight years, two months. Yeah. Again, high incidence of infant death, and, and to be fair, quite a quite a surprising amount of people dying in their twenties. No age, thirty-eight. Taylor and Clothier, Clothier. It's a hard one to pronounce, isn't it? Clothier. Uh, these are just markers again for grave sites. There's a tall one in the background, it's got a bit of a slant on it. I wonder if the council will be pulling that over at some point. I'm not impressed with this um, technique they've got. Age 64, aged... Is that 99? Is that a 99? Or 89? It's a high number. There's a 42, a 73, 74... 37, 2, 2, 3 months, 6, yep, yep, it's the same pattern, it's all, see the kids, or you seem to live to a good old age, if you go by your 20s, the 20s seems to be a difficult time, not an awful lot of teenagers in this yard, it's not a big graveyard, I mean, but basically, this has basically walked all the way around it, but, I think, I mean, I might go and do another, but I think my theory is holding up at this moment because I've seen quite a few that, uh, that do indicate that people did live just as long as they do these days. It's just more of us live longer these days than than before because most of us make it past infancy. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this little walk around Johnston High Parish Church and its attendant graveyard. Bye-bye.